Hello everyone, my name is Shweta and I'm from Rohtak, Haryana. Today, I feel very happy to share my experience with you all that how I was able to get a fully funded PhD program in the US. So, let's start with my educational background. I did my Bachelor in Science from All India Jat Hero Memorial College, Rohtak, which is affiliated to MDU. Uh, then I did my uh, Masters in Physics from Deen Bandhu Chodoram University of Science and Technology, Murthal, which is in Sonipat. So in both my Bachelors as well as in my Masters, I have a uh, first division, uh, but I had no research experience. So in June of 2020, I came to know about Dr. Narendra Pramar and I contacted him. Uh, I told him that uh, these are my marks and I have no research uh, experience. Is it possible for me to get admit from any US university? So he told me that uh, it is not a big deal as uh, people think. Uh, he told me that uh, uh, people have this misconception that only if you are from a you know, big university or you are from institutes like IITs, only then uh, you can get admitted into foreign universities. He cleared my misconception and uh, he helped me with my TOEFL preparation. So in uh, September of 2020, I uh, gave my TOEFL and get a good score of 97. So after that we applied to some universities, uh, I was able to get admit in one university but they said that uh, they will not be able to sponsor me if I want to pursue PhD, I'll have to come there on my own expenses which was not my cup of tea. So uh, Dr. Pramar again he uh, motivated me, he guided me that I should do some other things which can help me build my profile. During that time, uh, I already took admission into the BA program uh, and uh, else than that, I started to search for some internships. A friend of mine told me about this online internship um, by IIT Indo. So with the help of Dr. Narendra Pramar, uh, Dr. Narendra Pramar told me how I should uh, you know, contact uh, the faculty mentors and everything. So I uh, uh, mailed my professors and uh, I told them that I want to pursue my PhD from abroad and the internship un uh, under you can help me very much. So I did my internship. Uh, I did uh, two month internship in the field, computational field dynamics and um, Five month of internship was uh, done in physics uh, field right? that is in uh, nano of course. Uh, so after that, uh, after completing of my internships, uh, during that time we also started to uh, again we started to apply for uh, foreign universities. This time I uh, only applied to University of Puerto Rico. Uh, other than that, I mailed other universities that uh, uh, I applied to your university last year, but due to strong application pool, I was not able to get a scholarship. So if possible, can you reconsider my application? Uh, some said yes, some said no. So um, the which uh, whoever said yes, I applied to them. And uh, also I, I was lucky that I didn't have to uh, pay application fee for University of Puerto Rico to uh, application fee uh, waiver was going on that time so uh, i get to know that uh, so yeah dr narendra pramar uh, had helped me a lot in building my resume and my sop uh, because resume and sops are very important part uh, in when you apply to foreign universities and uh, what i felt was that my resume and my sop were eye catching so uh, this is how I get admitted into a very well reputed uh, college and uh, I motivate you all that you all should uh, apply uh, to uh, foreign universities. You should chase your dreams and uh, uh, do not hesitate to contact Dr. Narendra Pramar. He will guide you uh, uh, best and uh, that's it. Thank you.